we brought people to a nature environment, which was the Amsterdam forest, and to an urban environment, which was Amsterdam Zuid. It's an urban environment with very new buildings, so aesthetically it's quite beautiful, so to say. So there's not a big difference of valence, at least we try to minimize this valence difference between nature, natural environment, which is of course more beautiful than an urban environment. And what we let the participants do is to walk around in the environment for five minutes and also having this an imaginary script read by them, like imagine how it is, I wonder how the sound, listen to the sounds in the environment, look what you see. So they were really paying attention to the environment. So what happened in the nature environment is that people evaluated the future more. And that is, I think, really important for what we want in, uh, with re regard to environmental causes and consequences. We want to make people value the future more, to make sure that they make more long-term strategies and decisions. And I think the nature can enhance this, and that's a great finding. Our results gives one solution. There are maybe more, but one big solution for policymakers to make people act more with a future-oriented mind. Namely, that if you enhance the net nature surrounded by the people, for example, you bring more nature to the schools, you bring more nature in the streets, you bring more nature in working place, and let people be more in touch with nature. Yeah, that is a solution to make them act more uh, future-oriented.